Hi, Christina Peek is here, and I'm here with another um, small and big fabric haul. So um, I think I kind of um, led up to this in my last fabric haul that this one is a slightly different. So this is an order from Big Duck Canvas, and I'll show a little bit about the website later so you get more of a feel for it. But um, it just came today, and you can see some stuff behind me here, and that's what I'm going to show you. Okay, so first I wanted to say that Big Dub Canvas often, um, I think they deal a lot with wholesalers and people who order big, big piles. So it comes in, I think this is polypropylene, um, kind of wrapping. If you order more than 10 yards, you get it in, on a roll and otherwise it's it's folded so um, I was gonna call them and see if they could just go ahead and fold all my stuff because it's easier to deal with but alas um, it didn't so um, the first thing here is um, muslin <laughs> so um, I've been looking for you know everybody's like oh use old sheets whatnot I tell you there are so many people who sew in my area that there are no uh, use sheets at any uh, any of the um, like Goodwill or um, anything like that. So um, and I, I've bought new sheets to use and I tried some microfiber ones and they're just really horrible. And um, yeah, I'm kind of at a loss about getting cheap woven fabric to make uh, muslins out of. So this muslin was, I, I got 10 yards exactly so that I'm uh, when you buy more than 10, you get, not only does it get them on a roll, but you get a discount. So I think they made it like $2 and something, $2.17 or something um, per yard. So that's probably going to be the best, um, I think that's the best I've seen. Um, and then the other thing that's on the roll that I get 10 yards of is this blue. <laughs> and this is more than a little bit ridiculous. Um, it is actually an interlock knit and it is um, uh, it's got some stretch horizontally uh, and actually wait I don't know it's got stretch it's got stretch in one direction and um, actually pretty good recovery and very little or none in the other area and you might be like Christina what were you thinking about buying but um, it was 49 cents a yard. And um, why 10 yards? is because they wouldn't sell me any less. The minimum purchase size was 10 yards. So it's a cotton nylon spandex um, mix. And um, honestly, it's the same color that gym suits were when I was in high school, or at least the tops of the gym suits. So I have a real hard time with this color, but the navy was sold out. Um, or at least it wasn't acting like it was sold out, but then it said they had only had one yard left and you had to buy 10, so who knows. Anyway, the other stuff I got is slightly more normal. Um, I got some webbing. Um, I'm going to make belts out of this. Yeah, a little weird, but for like hiking type stuff. And then um, in their discount um, section, basically it's a whole bunch of 10 ounces or so um, rip stop 100% cotton. Now, I bought some of this before and I made a duffel bag out of the peekaboo patterns duffel bag. Um, I'll see if I can attach a picture. And it's it, it launders really well, it's really sturdy, and I'm gonna make hiking pants for it. So, um, and, and a hiking skirt. So the um, two patterns that I have are the Anzu and the Azuki, um, both from Waffle Patterns. And I want to say that these patterns are not drafted for my size. They go up to a, um, actually like a 50 hip, I think. Um, I wanted to say 52 hip, but then if they were 52 hip, that means they would go to exactly my size. Um, I'm either just over or just under, because I'm kind of small fat. Um, so, um, 
I do regret that. However, the patterns have five million pockets, and I am a sucker for a good pocket. So um, anyway, I, I, I'm going to make those patterns, or um, the Dawn jeans, or take their um, pockets. And now you can just buy an, a manual about how to do pockets from Waffle Patterns. Um, but I actually like the skirt and the pants too. So. Um, uh, I'm a, or I might just make some Dawn jeans or actually I think I got like four yards of each of these so I might be able to make like the skirt and some shorts um, for hiking um, and so I got the um, dark brown and I got the navy or no actually this is yeah this is navy it looks an awful lot like black and then I got uh, a lighter one and it looks like it has smaller um, I don't know, who knows and then actually I guess I got two more I think I was going to take one of these out of my cart but apparently I didn't um, black and oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it's an olive before I had gotten kind of a dark olive now this is all really heavy on my lap I'm going to take the, um, both the muslin and the, um, the jersey off of the rolls, and I'm going to wash the jersey, and, um, or the interlock, whatever it is, and uh, the other muslin I'll just keep as is, um, yeah, <laughs> and so it's a bit ridiculous. Um, today I'm wearing, um, I don't even know if I can get up. Today I'm wearing a um, another Dublin Dolman, or the same Dublin Dolman, you might have seen this like 10 times before because I wear it a lot because it's just, I just really like it. And then I'm also wearing, um, oh I don't know if we can see this, um, <laughs> I can insert a picture, um, and I'm also wearing hacked Venice Beach shorts from uh, Green Style. Anyway, um, Thanks for joining me with my um, fun haul. And um, I wanted to give a little introduction to the website. This is bigduckcanvas.com. Once again, not affiliated. Uh, it seems kind of like the, the website is mostly aimed at you know, small businesses, perhaps. But, you know, they've also tried to add some things for home sewists. So it's a little awkward in some places for probably either. You can get all sorts of different weights of canvas and duck for different applications. And then within these uh, categories, um, you can, there's different colors, there's different widths. And then it, once you see one that you like, generally uh, it, the more you buy, the less expensive it is. And if you get more than 10 yards, they'll send it on a roll. So they also have linen. I wouldn't necessarily recommend them for linen. I think that probably the fabric store would be better. And a bunch of outdoor fabrics. I was able to get a good price on a discounted outdoor fabric that's in a color. Um, it's like in a bright yellow that I'm going to use to uh, recover my deck furniture. But where I mostly go here is down to the discounted fabrics and overstock. And um, unfortunately, sometimes you click on these and it'll say it's out of it. So that's unfortunate. But um, the one of the ones I got here is this blue jersey and um, then these uh, rip stops, you know, for and they're super heavy, um, as you know, saw when I held them up. There's a couple threads, um, although I get the threads from Wawak and a couple of other things also they recommend the best fabric for certain projects. I just also wanted to add that the reason I kind of held off, even though there's such good prices and why I got so much at once is that the shipping ends up being quite steep. It does come UPS and for me in Maryland, this is pretty accurate. It was just a couple days and they packed it very quickly, but the shipping I, ends up being 30 or $40 uh, every time I've ordered. And um, it's just, there's no way to really get below that. So it's a wicked deal, but um, the shipping does matter. We will come back, yeah.
Only the story what is good All oh, the world be great Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace